As Mother Nature has shown us, winter isn't slowing down anytime soon. For Mike Stevens in the PhotoLink Library, that's a good thing. He shows us some of the sites you captured while snow blanketed northeastern and central Pennsylvania. Some winter color here from Cynthia Rott Catawissa. Always good color, but especially nice these days. A bit more here, sent in by Carol Elliott, Mount Cobb. Winter color is always great to see. Color still grows here and there. Berries in the storm from Joni Halabura, Oryxburg. But the snow eventually comes. Amber Jones, Wilkesbury, watched it for a while and marveled at how it glistened as it fell. Michael Bartolotta in Old Forge walked out into the falling snow. His image here is from the middle of it. Nine inches here and still snowing. This image from Mike and Lee Heighton. The falls in Holmesdale captured by Serenity Rain. The snow here about to change what we see of the falls. How we see it. Old Glory, easily seen before the storm, now somewhat in hiding. Karen Keith of Pocono Pines saw it though. Things change as the storm wears on. Snowing in Berwick from Dan, he had something new to see. In the same town, Gretchen Matchinger found the storm doing quite a bit of work, painting new views of the area known as the test track. The storm moves on, leaving behind wonderful, memorable images. This from Ann Brecht Danville. The day after the storm, we are left with another view, like this from Carol Sizdek, Barnesville. There is here the promise of quieter times. And here as well, Danielle Kay of Carbondale sent a sunset at Lake Wallenpaulpac. The world moves on, for better or worse, creating memories for us along the way. Capture a few and send them on in. I'm Mike Stevens in the PhotoLink Library.